Here, I have hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. This is a 3% solution. This is the stuff you find down there at the drugstore. You find this th stuff anywhere. You know, you use it for a million different reasons. You can use it for steriliz sterilizing cuts and whatnot. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and pour in here a cup, or just a little less than a cup. And a cup is eight ounces. And if you look at it in milliliters, it's about 230 milliliters. So you can go anywhere from 200 to 250 milliliters. Six to eight ounces is fine. But that's with a 3% solution. If you have any higher concentration, you don't have to put as much in. So I'll take this, this um, hydrogen peroxide and pour it in this container. And this is about five gallons here. Okay, so I put it in here five gallons and I'm just taking ordinary ordinary water it's got chlorine in it and everything you know it doesn't matter so I'm gonna fill this up that's good right there that's about uh, four gallons maybe maybe five more or less we don't have to be super precise and notice I use this air breaker nozzle on here that breaks everything up real well it gets a little bit more air in there kind of makes the water a bit more active okay so i've got an h2o2 or a h2o2 solution here and with the water now the next thing you guys have probably never seen anything like this it may scare a few people there we go we're making a bath here i'm gonna just bathe these in here for a few minutes <laughs> kind of funny putting you putting this recently harvested cannabis in water in h2o2 water well what this does is it sterilizes everything it's like if you get a little cut or something on your hand you know you put that uh, hydrogen peroxide on there you see it bubble up and stuff well that's it eating the infection same things going on here it's eating the infection but in this case the infection is the mildew so this is killing it Exactly, and that's it. It's just killing. You give this, we'll give this a bath for, like I say, two, three minutes, maybe as long as five minutes. You can let it sit in here longer, but there's really no reason. Oh, there, you can see it. You can see all that crap. Look at this, right across the top. That scum right there is the powdery mildew. So we know that it's not on the plants, it's on the top of the water. Now I can, I can uh, take a sponge and skim that off that way I can use this water a lot longer but for just this demonstration purpose what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna skim it off but like I say you use a sponge or a cloth or something and just pick that up wring your sponge out and then do it again and you get rid of that scum but look at that boy it's just building up there you can see it and that's just a few plants my god imagine if there was a whole bunch of it So the next step here is to is to pull them out of out of the water. But notice I'm not I'm not jostling them much. You know I don't want to break any of those resin glands. See now I let this drip off a little bit. Now the next move is I'm going to take this hose hose right here and water and just rinse this off. Rinse everything off. Give it a nice rinse. I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get real hard pressure on it. Just light pressure. So I make sure I kind of rinse off whatever residue might be sticking there. Okay, now I've got this bud here. I just shake it a little bit. Not much, just shake it a little bit. And I'll take that and set it up here. And I'll just do it to the next one. Rinse this real good. Make sure I get all the extra residue off without hurting the resin. Okay, there we go. There it is, nice and supple. Take this branch out. Rinse it, hang it up. One more little guy, little guy here. <laughs> Take this little guy out, rinse him off. Get all the residue off. And shake them a little bit, get the main part off. Okay, so now these are all ready to uh, turn the fan on them. I gotta turn the fan on so I get rid of most of that water. I wanna get rid of that water pretty darn quick right now. So all, I got the, the water on the outside gone and there's just the moisture on the inside of the leaf, you know, within the plant. Cause that way, 
if I don't get this moisture off here pretty quick within the next oh two to four hours it's gonna it, there's a possibility of some mold some new mold coming in but not as much because it's already got that H2O2 on it or it's it's been bathed with it so let me go get the fan and then um, we'll go through that and I'll turn the fan on here get it dried up a little bit and we'll go to the next step after that Okay, well, I've got the fan out here. I pulled it out of a, oh, an old garage, you know, and I haven't used it for a while, but I can see it's dirty. Man, look at that, look how dirty that is. All that creates air resistance, and that makes the motor run under pressure. And we wanna get rid of all of this ugly, ugly dirt on here. And, oh my God, look at this, this thing is just filthy. I'm sure you guys have seen stuff like this in grow rooms. Let me just take this off of here. God, look at that. That big bunch of hair and junk that comes out of the air, it's pretty disgusting. Well, all of that creates resistance on the motor and the motor works under stress. So it's a real good idea to keep this stuff off here. And besides, it throws a bunch of debris out into the air. So I'm gonna clean this up real quick. So I got the fan all cleaned up, looks a lot better and I just feel better overall about it. Um, so I could put this shroud on or I could keep it off. A lot of times you can take the, just keep this shroud off and there's even less air resistance and it uh, makes your motor last longer and the fan actually puts out more, more breeze. But the thing is, you don't want to put your finger in here. It's dangerous. I do it myself, but I don't advise you to do it at home because it might hurt you. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn this fan on and uh, watch it dry the buds. Well, like I said, I want to get the, get the main, the drops of water, anything that's like residing outside, outside of the plant, on the stem, on the leaves. And we'll just get that, get that dried up a little bit. And then after that, we'll trim it. And then we'll, we'll trim it or manicure it, manicure it, and then really let it dry. Let's hear what you have to say and what you can share with everybody else. Put it in the comments section and share your information because that's what it's all about, helping each other. And that's a good thing.